I was just thinking about radio and how radio was done a long time ago. Uh, we're talking uh, 1895 when they first did radio. Uh, Marconi was working with something like this. What I have right here is an induction coil and it can produce a pretty nice little spark here if I have a gap there. Spark coming out of that. But the thing that they didn't know at the time was that they were actually generating radio interference, radio waves. And how do you go about going and detecting those radio waves? Well, you do it with this little device over here. And this is something that Marconi had been using. This is called a coherer. Now, the coherer is just downright simple. This is really the simplest radio receiver and detector you could ever think of. What I have here is I got a couple of nails. Their nail heads are inside of this little tube of, of uh, vinyl, and on the inside of that, then we've got some uh, iron filings, and that's it. This is part of a circuit to go and uh, turn on a little light bulb here. But notice the little light bulb's not on because this has too high of a resistance. Yet, if you come on over here, and let's let me get this close right there, and let's take a look over here if I go and uh, push this button. Lo and behold, I got the little light turning on. And to turn that little light off, all you got to go and do is just tap this. The little light goes off. Yeah, come back on over here. I wonder if I can do it like this. There we are. You can see me in the corner, in this here. If I touch this, the little light turns on. Go over and do a tap, turn the light off. The little light turns on. This right here, it, once it starts conducting, the electricity keeps flowing through there until it gets tapped. And so they had to have a device for being able to go and tap on the coherer to be able to go and turn off the circuit. But if you can imagine tapping on this fast enough with a sort of an electromechanical device, you could go over here and in theory, not just in theory, but in practice, be able to go and send Morse code over to the little light here and have the little light blink on and off without any wires touching it. Anyhow, this is how they did radio way back in the day with this wonderful little device here that is so simple to make called the Coherer.